How many times are you involved in group conversations where perhaps one person is going off a, a little too long or someone has taken the topic and went into another arena and there is nothing that you could do? That is what the power a facilitator has. The facilitator can stop someone and move the conversation in another direction. And this is the skill that is probably the hardest one to use because we don't want to be considered rude and we don't want to be considered overly controlling. Uh, I think that sometimes the best conversations when a facilitator is present is when they are silent for most of the conversation. And just by their presence and just by their uh, guidance at the beginning, and perhaps a few nudges at certain points, but for the most part, you allow the conversation to take its beautiful natural course. But what we're here asking you to do within this new chat stream program is there is going to be a conversation type for each chat stream. And there's going to be a value that programs that conversation type. And there's going to be one lens. And so like you were shown before, and you have in your card sets, we are now bringing the card sets into reality inside of this chat room. And so every mission has an objective and every mission has a value conversation type and a lens. And what you will find is that you, from the position of being a facilitator, are the ones who can program what value, what objective and what time goes into the mission. And so there's a way to do so where you choose ahead of time and you choose each value, convo type and lens, or you press random. So you can actually start a mission and bring random in and maybe bring an objective afterwards or objective before. But the fun or the game side of this is at some point, you will learn how to do this on your own. But right now, you will be given the mission parameters ahead of time, unless you decide at some point to change that as a group. You're going to have to come up with your own rules at some point around how and what, uh, how the missions are made and in which order do they, do they occur. And so this is a test. This is a beginning. This is the first time this is being used. So you need a, to have a little bit of leniency in terms of uh, um, things that work and things that don't work. Uh, we need the feedback probably back as quickly, quickly as possible to see how to change things or make things better. The I think that's it. I mean, you're gonna to go to planetaryguardians.net. You are gonna sign up as a facilitator, and then you are going to invite your team into the groups, and then you're gonna set the chat room times, and then you're gonna start with mission one. You're gonna have mission one, and then you're gonna go through seven different missions together. And then by then, you should sort of get a feel for how it works, and to start to think in terms of sevens and planning within the uh, pulse model where you have a start, a setup, a build up, crescendo, ease out, connect and unify and finish. And so what we're bringing in are conceptual models that are beginning to design the process of how you're gonna to work together and how you start to format your missions and how you start to do things a step at a time and accomplish something a step at a time. And at some point you're gonna find out that you're in a, a real good flow together as a team. You're in a very good process together and you're figuring how to use the Zoom calls and you're figuring out how to use the chat stream and you're figuring out how to use your other communication modalities together. And then we have a project management system for you if you are ready for that, but that comes later on. So right now you're getting organized, you're building the synergy of the team, you're learning how to use some new tools and you're getting closer and closer to coming together for the symposium uh, at the end of November. So this is exciting. This is an amazing time. 
a uh, huge gratitude to go out to the Luciel team for putting this all together and for over a year, putting much time and effort into making this a possibility for everybody. And we are very uh, honored as planetary guardians to be part of this. And I am very honored to be part of this. And thank you so much for playing with the tools and getting to this point to see that all the tools at some point start working together. The five communication spaces map starts to organize other time maps. And as far as you want to go along, there's always going to be some more tools to bring in. And so this is just one of them, but this is a big one. And this is a historical occasion. And you're the first 12 facilitators to use this together. So be excited. Uh, let's see what can happen. And there's a whole world to, to build, isn't there?